Hello guys, so today we're going to be building the CSX ST78H in Minecraft. Now, um, this is a request by CSX6211 Productions, and this is actually a recent build, as, um, in real life, I mean. In 2019, um, these were, um, Progress Rail got some of these, and then CSX acquired them around late 2019 to 2020, um, and so this is what I built, and I'm um, credit to Crafty Fox for the logo. This is not my logo. Um, that's Crafty Fox's. And this also has an interesting detail here. Um, a sign with random letters in it. And no, this is not my permanent new wheel design. It just looks a bit odd on the CSX ST Sony AH. So that's the best I could do. Um, but anyway, let's get started on the tutorial. So we're going to grab the black concrete, nether brick stairs, and the oak fence gate. And on the front, we're actually going to add three nether brick stairs for the plow. And then upside down ones on the sides for um, a little bit of a, it's a bit cut down in the corner, so that's what that is. And we're going to add an oak fence gate in the middle. And from the back, you're going to open it so that's facing toward the front like this and then we'll add two black concrete on the sides so it looks just like that and now we're going to go back by about 34 blocks after this oak fence gate so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34 and then we're going to make it a 2x3 on the back, with one on the top corners, so it looks like this. And then we're going to add upside down nether brick stairs on the sides, like that. And then we're going to add a black concrete underneath the bottom middle here. And we're going to add one on the top sides as well. And then we're going to add two sticking out up on the top there. And then we're going to add upside down nether brick stairs, facing toward the middle. Now this is my last time pointing this out, but um, I just say to the middle to make it a lot simpler, because I could say the front it will be facing toward the back, and the back will be facing toward the front, but it's a lot more simpler to just say um, to the middle, because then you can understand what I mean a lot easier. Um. Now let's leave a block and add a black concrete in here. Leave two blocks, add another. Leave two blocks, add another. And we're gonna do that on the other side too. So leave a block, add a black concrete. Leave two blocks, add a black concrete. And then leave two blocks and add a black concrete. And they're gonna leave a block and on both sides. And we're gonna make a three block wide black concrete thing. And it should be 11 blocks long in total. So that's one, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then we're going to make the upper part up here 3 blocks wide as well, above the fuel tank. And you see these singular pillars of black concrete? Well, we're going to add one sticking on the top here as well. Um, and now we're going to grab the gray concrete. We're going to add gray concrete in these remaining blocks, just like this, for, um, detail. And when that's done, we're going to grab the nether brick wall, add nether brick walls, in the remaining gaps up on the top here. So it looks just like this. And, uh, let's grab the dark oak fence gate. And on the sides of the gray concrete blocks, let's add dark oak fence gate, just like this. And when that's done, um, let's grab the nether brick stairs, and let's add upside down ones on all of these three block wide ones here start that's 11 blocks long 
And on the right side, we're actually going to fill that in with, um, nether brick slab. Um, on the left side, however, um, we're going to grab the nether brick stairs, um, the acacia fence gate, and the dark oak trap door. And when you're done getting all those items, let's add four upside down nether brick stairs on each end. And let's add sideways acacia fence gates and open them into each other so we have a bit of a pattern that looks like that. And let's add an upper dark oak trap door for more detail. And um, the wheels are really complicated so we'll start, o or start off with the simple stuff. So let's grab the hoppers and nether brick slab. And on the gray concrete blocks, let's add hoppers. And then above all the hoppers, we're going to add nether brick swag. So it looks just like this. And then, um, let's go to the right side. Um, and let's grab the dark oak fence gate. And let's locate the first, um, hopper here we placed on the front and the nether brick slab and toward the back um both the nether brick slab and the hopper we're gonna add dark oak fence gates and then behind the top dark oak fence gate we're gonna add a nether brick wall just like that and then while we're at it i guess we'll add a lower nether brick slab there as well and let's also add one in that block um then over here, we're actually going to add another slab here, and then a dark oak fence gate, and then we'll add this slab as well. And, uh, now let's grab the daylight detector, and we can actually fill in the rest with, um, daylight detectors, where there's no, uh, nether brick walls and dark oak fence gates. Now let's go to the right, and go to the back this time, and here let's add a upper nether brick slab. And over here, we'll add a dark oak fence gate. Add another brick slabs next to the middle hopper here on both sides. And then we'll add a dark oak fence gate behind there. And then we'll add another brick slab. And above this um, dark oak fence gate, let's add another brick wall. And above this slab right here, let's add a dark oak fence gate. And then let's fill the rest in with um, daylight detectors, which... On the right side, both the front and back, there should be four daylight detectors in total. Um, combined it should be eight. Let's do the left side wheels now. Get all the complicated stuff done. So, uh, let's add another brick slab here with a daylight detector above. Starting off. And then we'll add a dark oak fence gate there and one diagonal up as well. Actually... This one on the top is actually going to be sideways and opened toward the front, so it looks like that. Now let's add another brick wall right here, and a, another brick slab right there. Now let's add another nether brick slab with a dark oak fence gate on the side. Now let's add um, one above here and one here as well. And let's add another brick slab. And then here there should be a daylight detector, so it looks like that, and on the left side on the front there's actually only going to be two daylight detectors in total, on the back there's going to be three, and we'll get those details out of the way. So let's add another brick slab, another brick wall above, just like that, and then let's add a dark oak fence gate sticking out here, and one diagonal up. Let's add another brick slab right there. And a daylight detector right here as well. And all the daylight detectors in this video are actually going to be right clicked um, to be darker. And anyway, let's add another slab right here with another brick wall right there like that. And then we're going to add a dark oak fence gate on the bottom there I believe. Yep. And then let's add another brick slab right there. And then the rest of those two blocks are going to have daylight detectors. And that should be the wheels out of the way. Um. 
We'll work on more details. Um, actually, I don't think there are details to do. Let's actually, um, do the debug sticking. So, if you don't have debug sticks or you don't feel like using them, then, um, you can just wait, um, until I'm done. Or you can just skip the video until I'm done. If you are, we're going to grab the dark oak button, birch button, and the acacia button. And a block of our choice. I chose black concrete, but you choose whatever you want. And for the debug stick, the mighty debug stick, we're gonna type in slash give at s um debug, and then you can type in tab to get your debug stick. And it should be an enchanted stick, but it does more than that. Um, if you've used this before, you probably know how to use it. Um, this isn't a tutorial on how to do debug sticks so if you don't know um you might have to find a tutorial because um i don't feel like explaining that but uh on both sides these front two slabs nether brick slabs here above the hoppers are gonna have dark oak buttons and that's not just on the left both sides and i believe on both sides i mean really on both sides we're gonna add Dark oak buttons now on the back two slabs here like that these two back slabs Are gonna have dark oak buttons Um And now you see this nether brick wall next to this fuel tank here. That's gonna have a birch button Now for the last debug stick detail for now We're gonna leave three nether brick slabs on the fuel tank from the back and let's add three acacia buttons just like this so when you're done there should be three blocks remaining from the back here like that that should also be it for the debug sticks for now um now let's do this part and the coupling those details still need done before we're done the bottom so we're gonna do the wall here first so let's grab the oak slab and dark oak fence gate Let's add dark oak fence gates in the remaining blocks here. And then we'll add oak slabs in a pattern that's a staircase. Just like this. And now let's do the, um, the coupling here. So let's add the dark oak slab. Dark oak fence gate, tripwire hook, oak button, and nether brick slab to our inventory. And I'll give you time to get all those. Uh, make sure to pause because I'm not going to do this for very long. Um, I'm just giving you time to get all these items because it's quite a lot. And once you get all the items, we're going to add tripwire hooks on the sides and oak buttons on that, those sides there. And let's add a dark oak slab right here with a sideways dark oak fence gate underneath. And on the sides, we're going to add open dark oak fence gates. And let's do the same thing in the back, except with another brick slab for the coupling, instead of the dark oak slab. Just like this. Like, copy what you did in the front, but instead of a dark oak slab, another brick slab. Like I said. Now let's um, work on this fence thing here, and let's also grab the oak slab, and the nether brick slab. Let's add an oak slab here, and some on those sides for V-shape on the front, and the nether brick slab, um, to make it more of a T-shape. And let's add an oak slab above this nether brick slab on the back, above the coupling, and three behind here to make this a T-shape. And let's add nether brick slabs on the back. And then let's go to the front. Go to the left side. Go to the back on the left side. Here, let's add another brick slab. Um, and the reason we're only doing it on the left is because on the right, I just made an entire stripe of yellow oak slab. But on the left, I actually ended it with another brick slab. And I did the same thing with the, um... UP patch cotton belt GP 60 which I uploaded um today well at the time uploading this will be yesterday and uh except it was on the right but anyway 
that doesn't involve this, so let's get back into doing the tutorial. So, let's grab the prismarine wall, oak fence gate, oak fence, and the chain. And actually, let's start on the front. So on the front, we're going to add prismarine walls, and that's supposed to be blue. Um, but we don't quite have things that are blue enough, so I chose prismarine wall. And all walls in this video are prismarine, as you can see. And then let's add an oak fence above the prismarine walls. And some on the sides of the oak fences here. Let's add more. Let's add two more down here as well. And we're going to fill in the remaining block with an oak fence gate. And then let's add a chain for the final detail. And then now let's add an oak fence on the sides here. And more down here as well. And uh, now let's go to the back. And we're going to add two down here on both sides. And then two um, climbing up into there like that. Let's also add two on the sides, just like this. Um, and now let's actually grab the oak fence gate. And above these oak fences there, we're going to add opened oak fence gates. And I think that concludes it with all the details, so let's get into the uh, actual train. Um, so let's grab the yellow concrete, and let's add five yellow concrete on the bottom there and let's add one on the sides too so it looks just like that um it looks a little bit weird but um it won't look weird in a minute it'll look like a the front of a CSX locomotive like it's supposed to um now let's grab the lapis lazuli block yellow concrete pr dark prismarine stairs oak buttons oak stairs black concrete cyan terracotta blue carpet and uh that's a lot of stuff so i'm gonna give you some time to get all that um so i'll just place them on the ground um just like this and actually you know what? i think i forgot a detail but it doesn't matter right now yeah, I did. I forgot to add a chain between here. Um, let's actually quickly grab the chain. And we're going to add a sideways chain right there, just like that. And we didn't do the lights in the front, but we'll do that later. Right now, let's add upside down dark prismarine stairs going into the middle. And then a lapis is we block in the very middle. And let's add a yellow concrete behind it. And an oak button on the lapis lazuli block for a little bit of yellow. Now let's add sideways oak stairs on the sides facing toward the front. And uh, then we're going to add an upside down oak stairs facing into the middle right by here. And then we'll add a black concrete behind there. And now let's add a cyan terracotta right there. And then a yellow concrete right there as well. And then let's just fill that in with um, yellow concrete. Um, because we need to fill that in with blocks. And this is a very messy spot, so let's just fill this in with um, blue carpet. To patch up all the holes. And now let's add two open dark open skates right there. And that cyan terracotta looks very ugly, so we're going to add the lights, which... We'll grab the birch button, smooth quartz block, and item frame for that. Let's add an item frame of smooth quartz blocks in there. And then we're going to add birch buttons on that block, just like that. And, uh, now let's grab the birch button. And on both sides, we're going to add one on the top yellow concrete on the sides, just like that, for detail. And now let's grab the... Lapis was really block. Let's add two here on both sides. And uh, let's grab the dark prisonerine stairs and add sideways ones on the sides like that. And it should look like that. And I'm going to be right back, guys. I have to reply to a text message.
Alright, um, let's grab the birch button and the warped button. And on the left side, let's add a birch button. On the bottom, lapis wizardly. And then up here, let's add a warped button. Just like that. And now we're gonna add a big U shape, which, um, I'm gonna take a second to explain. So, we're gonna add three behind here. And then three on the bottom. And then two going up behind here. For this big, enormous U shape. Or you can call it a magnet, whatever. Um, it looks like this. Now we're gonna add a 2x3 of Lapis Wizuli block inside here to patch up the holes of this lightning bolt, as well as the floor of the cab. And let's add 3, um, right here as well. Um, and that would be for the front wall of the cab and so that there's no holes underneath the windows. It's a detail I do. And now let's actually add a T-shape above here as well. And the top middle one is going to have an opened warped trap door. So it kind of sticks out like that. And let's actually grab the warped trap door again. And add opened one on the sides like that. And then we're going to add another one on the side of that that's opened. So it looks like this. For the final touch, let's add Dark Prismarine stairs on the sides um, for blue. And now let's add black stained glass blocks on the sides there, but we can't add it here due to warped trap doors. Um, so we're going to place one behind here on both sides. And then we're actually going to add another open warp trap door into there. And we're just going to place in behind there, another warped trap, or <laughs> black stained glass block, like that. Now let's do the numbers, so let's add two yellow concrete on the sides there, so it looks like that. Now we're going to grab the oak slab and the dark oak trap door. Now let's add an oak slab right here, and an orc, or, or, can I say oak, not orc, an oak trap door. And let's actually add an oak slab on the back here, and an oak trap door right there as well. That would be for the lightning bolt. Um, it's a cool little design I did. And let's add an oak trap door, or button, right there, in front of the lightning bolt, on both sides, so it looks like that. Now let's fill the bottom part here with warped buttons. Now on the left side, on this, um, back yellow concrete, let's also add a stone button. Now on the right side, we're actually gonna add, um, a warp trap door, um, a button, um, after we add lapis azuli blocks up here. Now on the right side, we're gonna add a warped button right here. And on the bottom here, we're gonna add stone buttons here, like that. And then ladders in between. So it looks just like that. And let's grab the birch sign. And actually, we don't need the black die. Um, it will already be black. And let's um, press enter and type in your CSX ST70AH. And there's actually only 10 of these. Um, so uh, I chose 8903 for the numbers, but you guys can choose whatever you want. It's really up to you. And now let's fill this top part in with white carpet as well. And when we finish the cab, we'll do the um, lights on the front and back. Um, but until then, we're going to grab the dark prismarine stairs and add it on those sides there. And let's actually add more lapis suit blocks right here as well. And I just noticed I forgot to actually add an interior to the cab. But I'll just make my own, um, it's not that hard. And now let's fill this in with smooth quartz blocks, just like that. In between. And then we're gonna add smooth quartz stairs on the sides, so it looks like that. And, um, now let's add, um, kind of a U-shape of snow layers right here.
let's make them all too tall. And the ones on the sides here are going to be three. But this middle one's just going to be two snow layers. So it's like that. And let's add sideways birch button in here. And some on those sides as well. And, um, once that's done, let's grab the warp trap door. And add two on the sides of the smooth court stairs. And then we'll add on this front black stained glass pane. A light gray stained glass pane. So it looks just like that. And... We're actually finished with the cab. Well, we didn't do the interior, but we're not going to do that yet. So let's actually do the, um, um, lights here now. Um, so that's going to, um, have the smooth quartz block item frame. And if you have the debug sticks and you're doing it, you're going to want to get the birch button and your debug stick, which you can get by typing in the chat. But don't type anything, just open it up, I mean... And then press the arrow keys until you get to the command to give yourself the debug stick. And I just broke that oak fence gate that's opened a certain direction, so I gotta fix it. And now let's add item frames with smooth quartz blocks in them on those prismarine walls. And on the back, let's add it on these bottom oak fences that are sticking out here. Um, do not add it there. Add it here. If you're doing the debug sticks, you're just going to debug stick the birch button onto these uh, smooth quartz blocks here with item frames. Or with um, we're just going to add in those smooth quartz blocks in the item frames. Um, and we're going to do that on the front too. And that should be it for the lights. Um, now let's actually do the interior of the cab. So I'm going to grab the dark prismarine stairs, the warped fence gate, a stone button, or any button, but I choose stone, and a lever, or a lever, I don't know. And let's add a lever on the bottom here, or on the top. And let's add dark prismarine stairs here, with opened warped fence gates, facing in there like that. And let's add stone buttons, in a triangle shape. And now let's add a 2x3 of... Lapis with Yuli block behind here, just for the back of the cab. Now let's add stone buttons in a triangle shape, and a lever on the bottom. And then we can leave the cab. Um, if you destroyed anything like that, just replace it. So it looks like this again. And uh, now let's actually work on the locomotive some more. So let's start on the right side with the dark prismarine stairs and the lapis lazuli block. Now let's add a sideways dark prismarine stairs. Now let's add two more facing toward the right there, like that. Oh, you might also notice some dark oak fence gates um, opening from the daylight detectors. Um, if that happens, just re-close um, them so they're like that. It probably happened here. And you're gonna wanna do that for everywhere it does happen. I'm sorry about that, guys. Um, I should have done the daylight detectors later. Anyway, then we're going to add a sideways dark prismarine stairs, like that. Now let's add four lapis with Yuli block, right there. And then we're going to do the same thing we do with the prismarine stairs on the bottom. But this time we're going to do it up here, upside down, like that. And it should look like this. And now after that we're going to add a 3x3 three three of lapis. Er, I keep saying lapis. When I say that I mean lapis. Please ignore that, um, funny mistake. A 3x3 three three of lapis was really. And then I'm gonna add, on the bottom middle one, a warp trap door. And then above, and on the sides of the warp trap door, we're gonna add the, uh, birch button. And let's also add one on the second lapis was really block, in there. And then we're gonna leave a block, actually, and an oak button for yellow details. And if you have the debug sticks, you're going to want to get your debug stick back, get the Laplace Azuli block, or any block that holds up buttons. And the birch button and oak button. And you're going to debug stick another birch and oak button above the original ones onto these stairs, like that. So it's a copy. So it looks like that. If you don't have debug sticks, then just um, leave it here. Or if you just don't want to use it. Um... And now we're going to grab the Lapis Wizuli block, 
Now we're gonna fill this entire top part in with um lapis lazuli block, but one block is gonna be replaced. So you see this three by three here? Well, we're gonna go to the very middle, line it up, go to the very top lapis lazuli block, and they're gonna destroy that and replace it with a bedrock. So it looks like that. Now let's add a blue carpet above the bedrock to patch up that hole. Um, of bedrock. It's not really a hole, it's just a foreign block that looks ugly on the top, so we're gonna remove it. And then let's add a birch button underneath the bedrock. And now let's grab the uh, dark prismarine slab and dark prismarine stairs. And let's add, um, well, actually, let's leave two blocks and then add two upper dark prismarine slabs here and above two dark prismarine stairs, not upside down. And then after, we're going to add two open door pass gates. And it should be right next to the bedrock and the birch button. Like that. And if you have debug sticks, we're going to debug stick a birch button on this stair, on this slab and stair thing here. Closer to the front. Like that. And, uh... Let's see, what to do now? Um, let's grab the oak slab and the smooth quartz slab and add two oak slabs here a smooth quartz slab and then oak slabs everywhere else now we can fix all these uh dark oak fence gates that open from the daylight detectors like this now the ones um oh this one too needs fixed but the ones by the nether brick walls and other fence gates or slabs won't be affected but the ones that have daylight detectors nearby or above will definitely have it and uh anyway now let's add two rows of lapis lazuli block right here five blocks tall and uh let's work on the left side now because we haven't yet now let's grab the lapis lazuli block dark prismarine slab and dark prismarine stairs now let's add four lapis lazuli block and fix that um, dark oak fence gate there. And then we're going to add four dark prismarine slabs here, like that. Let's add a lapis lazuli block here. One down there. Um, four behind here. Two here. Um, on the top, you're going to fill that in. And now it's an upside down dark prismarine stairs right here. And we're going to leave that alone for now. Now we're going to add two rows behind there, like that. And uh, now let's grab the birch button and the warped button. And let's add a warped button, a birch button, a warped button, and a birch button. And now let's add a dark prismarine stairs facing toward the back, like this. And now let's add a warped trap door on that block right there on the top closer to the back. Now let's add a birch button underneath. And now let's fill these three blocks in with prismarine walls. Like that. And then that very top prismarine wall underneath the dark prismarine stairs is actually going to get a birch button, but you're going to need the debug stick, so if you have it, you're just going to want to get it onto there. Like that. And uh, now let's add two more rows of lapis lazuli block. And let's keep diagonaling down birch buttons. Two more blocks. Just like that. So it's a diagonal line of birch buttons going down. And let's fill the middle in here with more lapis lazuli blocks. Um, for the top. And let's actually add a blue carpet above the dark prismarine stairs for detail. And now let's add a bedrock up here, and add a blue carpet above, with a lapis lazuli block in the middle. Now let's add a 2x2 two two up here as well, of lapis lazuli block. And now let's fill this in with um, lapis lazuli block down there. And let's grab the birch button, and the warped button, and after this bedrock, add a birch button. And we're also going to add two right here. Fill the rest of that in with warped buttons. But don't fill it in here or down here. 
You know what? Let's actually grab the oak slab and add three oak slabs. And we'll fix the um dark oak trap doors that are um opened. And now let's add a smooth quartz slab. And then we're gonna fill the rest of this in with a uh, oak slab and we gotta op I mean close those uh dark oak fence gates. And if you did the debug stick onto the birch buttons, you're actually going to want to debug stick the birch button back into this nether brick wall because it was messed up from the slabs as well. Now I don't have to worry about any more um, dark oak fence gates once these are fixed. Now this side was one storm remains open by the way, if you um didn't notice. And now let's actually work on the back so that we can do a satisfying detail. Um, so first, actually, let's grab the lapis lazuli block, and yellow concrete, and the oak stairs. Let's add a V-shape of lapis lazuli blocks, and then a row of yellow concrete above that. Let's add two on the sides. But here we're going to add a lapis lazuli block, and oak stairs, and then a row of lapis lazuli blocks. So it looks like that. And now, um, we're actually going to do more. So these two... Um, yellow concrete, we're gonna have opened oak fence gates. And this oak stairs is gonna have an open birch fence gate. And above that birch fence gate, we're gonna add a warped fence. For the horn, um, I think there was actually two locations for the horn. Um, or it might have been just the back. Um, yeah, the horn is on the back of the locomotive. It's a bit strange, but, um, I guess that's what they did. Now let's grab the oak sign and the blue die. Next to the oak stairs, we're gonna put an oak sign, press enter, and type in the same number you did in the front to the back, and then right click it with um, the blue die. So it's blue, like that. It's supposed to just be printed numbers on the back. But if you want, you can also just add warped buttons for the numbers if you feel like it. It looks cool too. But if you want, you can also actually have it show the numbers by doing a oak sign. Um, there's two ways you could do that. And let's add a lapis was really block in the middle. And let's add a 2x3 behind there. And on that 2x3 we just added, let's fill it in with warped pressure plates. And on the sides, let's add ladders as well. And let's add two lapis lazuli blocks underneath on both sides. And those two lapis lazuli blocks are going to get birch buttons everywhere. And now for an, um, just an interesting detail. Let's grab the dark prismarine slab, dark prismarine stairs, lapis lazuli block, and polished blackstone stairs. And let's add three dark prismarine stairs. Um, and then we'll add five sideways ones like this. Two, three, four, five. And let's leave a block, add a dark prismarine slab. Leave a block, prismarine slab. And then let's add another sideways stairs here. And let's add two facing the back there like that. And let's add more sideways ones facing into the middle. And it should look like this. And let's add lapis lazuli block on the tops there like that. And let's add polished blackstone pressure plates above. Now for that satisfying detail, we can fill the rest of this row on the top here with lapis lazuli blocks. Um, on this model, they actually did no um, curving in here. They actually just made it straight, and they added a little thing sticking out up here. I don't know what that is, but it's pretty cool, honestly. And you know what, you can actually add another row on the sides here of Lapis Visibly Block 2. Down here as well. And, uh, it should look like this. And now let's grab the Dark Prismarine Stairs. And you saw this, um, detail we did here with Dark Prismarine Stairs and all that other stuff. On the outside, we're gonna add a row of, um, Dark Prismarine Stairs. And on the sides, we're gonna add upside down ones as well. Um, and then, um, if you want, you can actually grab the nether brick stairs, and we'll fill in these remaining, um, five blocks with 
another brick stairs upside down. Now let's grab the stone button and add one right there. And we're actually going to fill in this entire spot in with warped buttons. So it looks just like that. And now we're going to add warped trap doors in between here. Um, starting after this blue carpet here. Um, on the left side. And starting from this, um, birch button on the right. I didn't do that, actually. So let's grab the birch buttons. And remember how I added the birch buttons? Right here, and two down here, on the left side. On the right, we're gonna add two down here, and one up here. Now we're gonna fill in legit every other block with warped buttons. Right here. Um, not these two, though. Leave them alone. But everywhere else is going to get warped buttons, just like this. And the stone button was actually for a gray detail, like a window looking thing or something. I'm not quite sure how to describe it or what it even was, but that's what it was like. And uh, now you see these warped trapdoors we placed on the sides? We're going to add daily detectors between all of them. And right click them so that they're um, blue. They're supposed to be blue, not, um, black. Because, uh, it's gonna be a bit of a sticking out part on this detail here. And this is how this should line up. And now let's do the logo, which, if I didn't clarify this enough at the beginning, this is by Crafty Fox. So shout out to him for the logo. But before we do that, let's actually, um... You know what, never mind. Uh, never mind. So, uh... I'm actually gonna leave two blocks from here. And then add lapis lazuli blocks on the sides. And let's fill the entire bottom from this point with lapis lazuli blocks. And now let's do the logo. So first let's add two underneath the stone button on the left side and two underneath the same spot on the right. And now it's, um, fill in this middle row with, um, blue lapis lazuli blocks to cover up the holes. And these two on the bottom are gonna remove, so it's an M shape here. And let's replace these ones with, um, yellow concrete. And now we're gonna do the logo, which, one more time, this is by Crafty Fox. All CSX logos I've made are crafty fox because I'm not very good at CSX logos so I'm borrowing his and so we're gonna grab the oak stairs oak slab and dark prismarine slab and we're gonna add an oak stairs here facing toward the back and an upside down one facing toward the back and do the same pattern facing toward the front here and let's add an upside down one here facing toward the front and one here facing toward the back so it looks like this and then an upper oak slab up there and lower ones there now it's at a dark prismarine slab there as well and it's symmetrical on the other side so um you're gonna want to copy the same thing to the other side and then when you did that um let's go to the left and this very bottom block is going to get a birch button. On the right, um, it's actually going to get one there as well. And then this block is going to get a warped button. And now if you have debug sticks, you're going to grab the debug stick and the lapis lazuli block. And every single top block on the left side, or right side I mean, on the logo, is going to get a warped buttons. Like that. And then with the birch button, we're gonna add one here. A birch button. Debug stick into this block. And then leave a block. And now these two blocks are actually gonna get birch buttons. And it should look like that. Now on the left side, we're just gonna get one on this slab here. A birch button. And one on this stair right here. Next to these two birch buttons. And that's it, actually. Um, now we're gonna do this little event thingy. Which we're gonna do by placing, um, 
two lapis lazuli really blocks behind here, and this is a, my this might be become one of my new vent um blocks soon. Um, but I'm doing the black stone slab, and we're gonna add two like that on both sides, so it looks like this. And on the right, we're actually gonna add a two by six of lapis lazuli blocks, and on the left. I'm actually just going to add a 2x4, and one on the bottom there, so it's like that. And now let's grab the yellow concrete, smooth quartz slab, dark oak sign, and a white dye. And once you got those four items, this is actually an interesting detail. I'm just going to get rid of all the other blocks like that. This sign actually, or this part actually has your own custom sign, and you can type in whatever you want. So first we're going to add the yellow concrete behind here, a smooth quartz slab on the bottom, and now place a dark oak sign, and this has writing in it. So you can actually type in either actual words on every line, or just spam random letters like this. Now actually placing um, actual words would look a little bit better. It looks a little tacky with spam letters, but it also works from afar, so yeah. Then when he did that cool detail, let's add two more lapis lazuli blocks behind there. And let's add a warped fence gate right there. And above, a prismarine wall. And on the right side, um, we're just going to place two ladders um, right here, like this. And we're going to fill this bottom row in with um, warped buttons. And above, we're going to grab the birch button and the oak button. Now let's add a birch button here, an oak button, two birch buttons, and then an oak button. And it should look like this. On the left, we're actually going to grab the warped button again. And we're going to add two down here. Leave a block, add one. And let's add an oak button right here. And the rest of those blocks are just going to get birch buttons. And now this might be one of the last details before we move on to finishing. Actually, there's two details that I need to do. So one, let's grab the oak fence gate. Let's an open one on the sides here. Into that nether brick slab, like that. And now we're going to grab the bedrock. And fill this in with bedrock. And now we're going to add a cluster of dark prismarine stairs. Facing right side up, toward the front on both sides. We're gonna fill this entire part in with it. So it looks like this. And that's supposed to be blue. And now let's actually grab the uh, oak fence and yellow carpet. And let's add three oak fences on both sides with a yellow carpet above. And now let's grab the string, blue carpet, warped fence, and uh, dark prismarine stairs, and oh, I forgot a debug stick detail. So, let's if you have the debug stick, let's grab the dark oak button, the debug stick, and the lapis lazuli block. And you see the stairs here on the left side? Well, that's gonna get a dark oak button like that. Now you can get rid of your debug stick, the dark oak button, and the block of your choice. And we're now gonna grab the railing stuff we got and on the left side. Let's add two warp fence here, have a block, add two, and here it was supposed to be a cluster, but I couldn't really add too much of a cluster, so I just added two here, two down here, and a dark prismarine stairs. If you look on Google Images, you'll see what I mean here. And now let's add string between here, and blue carpet everywhere else. Now let's leave a block from here, and add two warp fence, and keep doing that, leaving a block and adding two warp fence until we get to about here where there should be two connected to this yellow oak fence and yellow carpet pillar and now let's add string in between all this and blue carpet and I just realized we forgot the door banner so we'll do that quickly and then maybe we'll be done um, I'll look for more details we forgot because um, Usually six times out of ten, I forget a detail. Um, sometimes I don't forget details, but sometimes I do. 
So, uh, we gotta do the railing on the right side, too. So we're gonna leave a block and add two wood fence here. Leave a block, add two. Leave a block, add two. And then leave a block, and we're gonna add two more. And underneath that, we're actually gonna add one more, so it's just three. And these bottom blocks are gonna have string instead of the top, all the way to here. And actually here, um, we're gonna remove that string because it's just gonna be held up by birch button. And we're gonna add blue carpet there, and then blue carpet everywhere else, just like this. Now we're gonna add two diagonally down here, like that. And let's leave a block, add two, leave a block, add two. And keep leaving a block and adding two until it's leaving a block to this yellow pillar on the right side. Now let's add string between here, just like that. And then we're gonna fill this thing with blue carpet. So it looks just like this. And when that's done, we're now actually gonna um, do the door banner, and I believe we'll actually be done with this really big detailed train I made on the CSX ST70AH. So we're gonna grab the black banner, the loom, and two blue dye, and we're gonna add a black, or blue border, I mean, on the black banner. And then next to it, there's a perfess inverted. Do that. And then we're gonna place our banner here, and we're gonna place one there. And I think that one banner actually just finished the train for us. Um, so I'm just gonna get rid of all my materials. And, uh, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the train tutorial. I hope you guys enjoy the build. Um, you guys might not have enjoyed actually following the tutorial, because I might have been e going either too fast or too slow, but still. I still hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the train. Um, yeah, um, this should be uploaded on the 20th of February. It's the 19th right now. 1.19 p.m. Um, Friday. Um, and yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, the next video, um, or the next train tutorial is going to be the Pennsylvania Railroad, or PRR, RS-27, which was requested by Landon the Train. So a shout out to him. This one is very hard to make for me. Um, I'll try to make it simpler when we build it in the tutorial, though. Um, I'll get working on that very soon, and it should be uploaded on the 21st. So yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Um, I'm not sure what's coming after the PRR RS-27. After that, I really have no more completed trains to do tutorials on, so I have to get building. Um, I've also started a few here, like the NS Go Rail, CNW Heritage Unit from Union Pacific, um, UP1995, um, NS Go Rail, Failmex C30-S7, um, Amtrak MP15DC has barely started. The SF Kodachrome U36C has barely even been started. All I did was start the plow. And we got the CMBC Rail Heritage Unit, which has a decent start. Um, and there's also this cool new detail here, um, which I'll explain when we do the tutorial on that, when I build it. And here we have the started CSX SD40-2 YN2. Um, it's uh, not really started yet. It's um, a work in progress. A lot of these are works in progress. Um, a work in progress is, I don't know what to say for that. We also have the CN SD40-2W, which is not, is barely even started, it only looks like this, and it might even have more changes right there. Um, so that's barely started, um, but yeah, that's all I have to say, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, I'm gonna end the video now, I'll see you guys in the next one, bye!